Hello Mariners, welcome back, I am Pothos and this is Salwind and we're on Sandra at Siren Song and it's sunrise and over there we can see the new vessel, the square sailed cog. For the first time we're going to sail in this episode a square sail. I can't wait. But first of all we need to figure out where we're going to go. We are hungry, I've slept through the night. We're kind of thirsty. We need to take all the things of this ship that we need and put it on that ship. What's, what's in here? Rum. Yes, rum's important. Let's go. Rum. Okay, before we choose somewhere to go, let's see what's in the market because I've spotted something which might be of interest. Pipes. I've had lots of comments in the YouTubes below. Thank you for comments, by the way. I love reading them. To buy a pipe and, of course, some, some tobacco. So uh, 66 crowns for some uh, a pipe. Yes, why not? Let's do it. Okay, we own a pipe, we are a proud owner, let's stick that there. And of course we need the tobacco to go with it, so let's buy some. Um, yeah. Oh, only six, you only get six tobacco. Oh, we can put that there, okay, that's good. Okay, the cog, the cog, we've got it. Let's figure out where we want to go. I've I put some things over here, so I'll put some fishing hooks that side and then some firewood that side. I've, I've loaded up some fish down there, which we caught previously water and such like just the normal stuff we had over on the other ship is now on this ship and up here oh the maps on the, on the ceiling there and just our little gadgets over here up here so where do we want to go we are at siren song and i was thinking just to kind of practice sailing not really out for profit but let's go to oracle to see what oracle has to offer and apparently i've heard nighttime is a good time to go to oracle hopefully by the time we get there it might be nightfall or we'll just wait around and see what happens see what it looks like and then maybe down from there to fort astrium so let's buy something to take this fort astrium just a bit of trade goods i've not used the receipt thing before so over here let's quickly pick up won't take long north fish we buy north fish here for 79 we can sell it at astrium no for 57 we can sell it at Eastern for 16 profit at 73. So let's do that. Let's buy some North Fish. Uh, actually, the wrong currency. This is the currency. So one should three two sell one seven five 43 profit. Let's buy. I don't know how many five. We need to make up for the money we spent on tobacco and pipes. Fish doesn't weigh much. Is it 21 doesn't isn't much. But we've got a small vessel now. Let's just buy. Oh, the profit's going down. Yeah, let's buy four. Get a receipt. Receipt has been added to your log. Okay, cool. Log. Trade receipts, Siren Song, an average price of 133.5, cost us 534 Astrian crowns. Okay, cool. And here they are. Okay, we're all loaded up for the first time. Hopefully we're not too low in the water. There she is. Now we have named the vessel, and I shall reveal the name once we get out to sea. But I've never ever tried a square rig sail before so this is a new thing for me can't wait can't wait how's the wind direction okay and a proper wind vane up there so we're straight ahead no that's a no that's not so yeah we want to go to port as soon as possible so we want to go southwest at some point let's get the compass in my possession okay we're taking a long time getting this prepared we're actually very tired i think we're going to Wait until the following morning and then head out at dawn. But while that's happening, while we're waiting, let's celebrate with a sausage. Okay, first sleep on board the cog. 
Good night, everybody. It's morning. The crack of dawn. What time is it? It is 7 a.m. Lovely. Let's go, go, go. How do we do this? Where is all the things? Oh, we need to eat. Oh, man. Hang on. Quickly, let's have another sausage. Okay, now we're set. Let's go. How's the wind going quickly? It seems to be behind us to the right. Not the best, but that's okay. All right, let's bring down this one. The front one. Release the front cell. All right, let's leave that for now. Let's head let's steer to the port side of the shenanigans and see and hang on I've done it again <laughs> I'm such an expert let's um let's let go of this Ooh. and let's get let's let go of this one and I think that will aid and abet us leaving this place okay now let's let this go completely of course we're directly into the wind Directly. So let's pull it to one side with this. Put this one in tight. See how this affects things. Okay, this is not helping us. Let's pull it the other way. Let's let this one out. Pull in this side. Then pull in on this side tight. Which hopefully will be able to help us catch the wind. And move us away away from the wall at least. We are, we are, we are actually uh pointing away from it now, which is good. It's actually is working actually is working I'm, I'm amazed i'm impressed that should work more and more as we turn around okay so now pull this one in tight to get it centered i think this is a jib is it the front one it's as tight as it goes because this one's still tight here let this out a bit. Can we turn it? Oh, we're actually leaving the wall. We are actually leaving the wall. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Alright, straight, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. I think we probably do need to go for that gap. That gap there is good. Aim there. Are we going to actually straighten up now? This is brilliant. Now, we've used a jib before, which is good, on when we did the uh, remodeling of the sounds on the sandbark, I think it was? Or was it the other one? No, it wasn't the sandbark, it was the one before that. But uh, yeah, so we had a lot of play of that. I can't wait to lower these square sounds. Should we, should we do it now? Should we do it now? Let's go for it, actually. Why not? What's the worst going to happen? It's got to be this one. Let's just drop it. There we go. So I guess they're, they're, they're kind of like perpendicular to the wind at the moment. Can we, can we let, get that one to, does that have, what's oh, over here? It's here, so we need to, let, need to let this one out. There we go. Yes. Goodbye, Siren Song. You've been good to us. You have been good to us. And look at us on the cog out to sea with square sows. People said to me, Pathos, square sows are difficult. You don't know how to use those. You'll be, you'll, you'll, you'll fail miserably and, and hilarity will ensue. But not such a bad job. Not such a bad job, if I do say so myself. Well done. And now let's 
turn into the direction, hopefully, of where we need to go. We want to go southwest, so this this way. So we need to go over there, which is not brilliant for the wind, but not brilliant. Let's see what would happen if we do turn that way. So we're turning now. It's hard, it's hard to tell what's going to get us stuck in the wind or what's not. So now that is... Square riggers. We have to pull this in. That's going to make us go backwards. <laughs> Surely. That's going to make us go backwards. Maybe we should raise it up. Hang on. That's... That's not good. That's... Right. We're going backwards at the moment. We're in reverse. We are in reverse. Let's bring it... Oh no, that's the wrong one. Hang on. Drop you. You're, you're okay. You're the one. Bring you, bring you up. Okay, pull you up. And just use the jib for now. Until the wind's good. We should hopefully start going forwards. We'll pull you in a bit, maybe. We are moving forwards again, so that's good. But yeah, it's a bit more tricky. But actually, it's quite fun. I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying it. I'm quite enjoying it. It's strange. I mean, we've got the worst wind possible for the direction we want to go. I don't know. The game seems to know where we want to go and just gives us the bad wind. But yeah, we just make a steady, slow progress. I mean, we could, we could go straight south, actually. Which, and then maybe just tack it. There is a, a non-player vessel in front of us. What is going on? Can we board it? Can we be? Can we board it like a pirate? Can we? Can we be thieves in this sea? Like a. Like a sea of thievery. Um. Doesn't appear to be anybody on there. Can I, uh. Hmm. I think we've missed our chance. We've missed our chance for the boarding. But that's okay. Is that it? I think that's it, you know. I think we can see it in the distance. Hang on a minute. Where's the telescope gone? Of course, there's a wave near that. Uh, I thought I saw it. I thought I saw it. Maybe not. Do a quick drink. Yeah, I bought some more water before we left because we were running low. Okay, so if we actually go south first towards Port Astrian. And we'll tack towards Oracle once we get uh, closer. Because otherwise, we're just not going to take advantage of the square sails. And I want to use the square sails, actually. So let's go south. Hard to port. Straighten her up. We are pretty much there. Pretty much on course for south. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. But that that island just there is going to be Fort Astrian. Yep. That's Fort Astrian. When we get pretty close to that, we'll go to the west. But now, what that means is we can bring down 
Let's go ourselves again. Drop you. Pull you in here. Let you know, let you out here first. Let you out like this. Because the wind's coming from that direction. And we are making what seems like good speed. Yeah, we're flying. We are flying. Awesome. Really enjoying so far the square cells. Brilliant. And to fix that map at the back, you need to go and down there. You're messing up the cinematics. Okay, so while this is happening, let's run through some of the names that were suggested by the people in the comments. By the way, yes, comments, I love them. I love reading them. The first suggestion that I saw, on no particular order, was uh, was Chance. Because, mostly because it's, uh, it starts with C, I believe. Um, and because we're going to take a lot of chances, I suppose. Uh, Rock Bottom, which doesn't start with a C or sound like cog at all, but uh, it's kind of a more of a uh, pessimistic view of what to call the, the ship. Solus, Solus, Solus. It's a nice name. It's a beautiful name. If I, I'm not sure which one, which particular way to pronounce it. Sol Solus, it's Solus. Uh, the other one was Cassiopeia, after the constellation, the star constellation. And the final one, Castellietti. Castelletti. Castel... Basically, the name means castle or fortification because there's a kind of uh, castle area at the back. The, the old quarter deck, I suppose, maybe. Anyway, that part. But I think out of those five names, Cassiopeia is my favourite. And uh, that will probably get shortened quite often to Cassie. So we are on the good ship Cassie or Cassiopeia to give her her formal title, the Lady Cassiopeia. Yeah, the Lady Cassiopeia or Cassie for short. Uh, the Cog, Cassie the Cog. There we are. We are on a named ship for the first time, sailing on a ship with a name on the first episode, doing things right. It does seem like the the wind, the weather vane, is going to, in a different direction to the the flag, the wind flag. Hmm, it's a strange one that, I'm not quite sure what's going on, or well, it seems like, I don't know what's going on there. Answers on the postcard in the comments. Okay, let's see what kind of speed we're going right now with uh, Cassie. A very healthy four knots. Let's see if somehow we can increase that at some point. When we've got the wind behind us. In fact, the wind is actually pretty bad. We probably need to let this out even more, maybe even. Pull that in tight. Pull that in tight. Is that helping or hindering? Or like maybe even this in tight. Uh, let this out a bit. Pull this in a bit. That's as tight as it goes, is it? Anyway, now what speed are we going? Do seems to be leaning a bit more, which suggests maybe we're going faster. Oh, oh, five knots. We're making things better. In a way. We cannot speed. What a beautiful evening.
So we haven't got any fish right now, but the ones we do have from previous, we should probably get cooking so that we don't end up too hungry. And it will be our first meal cooked on board. Uh, this one's got less firewood. Let's use this one. Drop it in. Oh no. <laughs> get up. Right, drop you in. There we go. Wait for them to cook. Yeah, let's um, head to the east now, maybe. We seem to be probably what might be in line now. Sorry, not the east, the west. Let's head towards the sun now. Okay, hard to port. No, starboard. Did we get stuck in the wind? No! Um, let you out. Pull you in. That's not right, is it? <laughs> uh, a bit too far. Tell you what, let's pull you up because you're just complicated. You're complicating things. Now we probably need to go straight to get a bit of speed. But everything's gone a bit crazy now. At least one of the black fin fish is cooked. Our first meal, our first snack. Turn these guys on, because we can't see anything. I don't know if we're actually going forwards or not. Let's have a look. Uh, three knots, two and a half knots. All these fish are cooked. Let's put you guys down here. Let's have uh, the, the... Let's have the... The eel. The very filling, filling eel. Do you know what we're going to do? I think we're just going to sleep. And then sort this out in the morning. And have a little sleep sleep. I'll leave the lant lanterns on. You, you never know. Alright, see you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Oh, it's morning. Proper morning. Okay, we slept right through. Don't think we actually made much progress. But that's okay. And the wind is still... Right behind, in, we're still right into the wind. Brilliant. Uh, in fact, the wind is now. It's like whatever direction we, direction we want to go in. That's where the wind is. Do you know what? I'm gonna abandon. We're gonna abandon the oracle. We're gonna go straight to, straight there, and um, and that's it. We'll just go where the wind blows. Not literally, but. We'll go to Oracle next time, maybe, when the wind's more favourable. Mostly because I'm recording this after work, and uh, I'm going to go back to work tomorrow as well. So it's late, it's late for me. Alright, let's turn these off because we are wasting the midnight oil. Okay, we know that um, we should be able to use this now. Turn you up. Pull you in tight. 
No, actually let you out. There we go. Now we can pull you in a... Uh, about there for now. And this needs to straighten it up a bit more. There we go. Now what speed are we travelling at? Have a look. So fast. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure it'd be great when the wind's right behind us. At the moment we have suboptimal wind. Perhaps I could angle this a bit more. I see a bit more out like that. Uh, meh. So when we get there, we'll at least be able to make a profit with some of these North fish, which is good. Probably less than we've paid for with um, tobacco and such. Oh, tobacco! Yes, let's do that. Let's let's head up onto what I'm going to call the quarter deck, whether it is or not, and try out the pipe. So obviously this is not working because. We don't have any tobacco in there. Now, apparently different colour tobaccos do different things. And I have been told in the comments, but I didn't remember. But uh, we'll find out what black tobacco does. Uh, somehow. Uh, put you there. Why just... How do we do a right click? Oh, and then feel. Now it's field. Now let's be a sea captain. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. We're being a proper sea captain now. How is that affecting us? That making us less tired. I don't know what that's doing. I mean, it looks cool, but uh, yeah. Is that making us less tired? I think it makes us less tired, isn't it? So, the, yeah, it's just there. In line with the lantern. Yeah, so a bit less tired. That's cool. We never need to sleep again. Yeah, look, fill up, fill up sleep bar. That's cool, so, put it there. Does that just continue burning?
pretty cool. I feel like we're getting a bit of speed now. How's the wind looking? We are leaning over. Probably. We've got this way too much. And we need to let this out a bit. No, we need to pull this in a bit. Because we are proper tilting over that. Oh, where's the jetty again? Oh yeah, we could just we can just park up there. Okay, cool. Right. Are we going particularly fast here actually? It feels like we're going a lot faster than than before. Yeah, we are by almost two knots. Two knots. Flying! Two knots extra, so that's six knots. Okay, we, uh, we're we going six knots, top speed. Oh, well. We're coming home, guys. With a new ship. With the good ship Lady Cassiopeia, or Cassie. Don't know the best way to do this. Let's, let's grab the wheel and go to the right. I don't want to get stuck in the window. The wind is coming from over there. So as long as we don't go all the way over there, we should be good. Last time we came through those uh, arches. Nice train, nice train up. I'm thinking we can do like a hard to port once we get proper close. Oh, look how shallow it is over here. Nothing to trouble us though, I think we're quite a shallow vessel. I think what we might need to do is bring up this. And just go in with the uh, the jib, if that's what it's called. I believe it is. And then uh, here it is. Bring this in a bit. In fact, hard to port now. Hard to port. Because we are pretty close. And I don't want to damage that ship because that's going to be out later one day. One day. Oh, okay. Hold on. Straighten up, straighten up. You're doing alright. You're doing okay. Just straighten up. I don't know how we're going to, uh, I don't know how to slow down fast because previous masts you could just let them out and uh, well, that would cut the wind, you know, but these, these ones, both, you can't really let the jib out, really, I guess I'll just have to take it, take it all the way up by doing this, put it up, put it up. And it doesn't take too long, which is good. And I think we're here. I think we're here. So maybe a bit of a shorter episode this time. Oops, cripes. But uh, I have enjoyed our little voyage. Let me know where to go next. Should we go to, uh, should we try again for, for Oasis? Or, it's not Oasis, is it? Should we try again for Oracle or should we head for other places we've not been to? Maybe Mount Malefic. But let's see how much quickly these go, go for. Actually, we can take all of these over to the the, the guy over here and set them, in, set them in one go. There's one. Grab this. There's two. Grab this. Three. Grab this. And that's four. Quickly run into here. And I believe we can sell these. Sell these four. For... For a minus four profit. <laughs> uh, is that what happened? No. No, no, because we bought, we bought them for 59. We sell them. I don't want, oh, no, I want to sell it for this money. So yeah, we bought it for one, three, three and a half. We can now sell for one, five, nine. So these 159. Get the receipt again. Look at the log. 
trade receipts. So we paid 534 and got 627. So yes, we made a profit. It took two days. <laughs> two days, 108 to 110. Yeah, well, that's okay. There you go, profit. We should probably do missions and stuff though to get our reputation up at some point. But if you've enjoyed the episode, let me know. But thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, thanks for commenting. I love you all. And as always, I've been Portos, you've been awesome. Goodbye. <laughs>